Hello and welcome to the Global Church Project. I'm Graham Hill. Timothy Lee is a global authority in Christian missiology. He opens up new horizons for 21st century mission, not only in Korea but for the rest of Asia and the rest of the world. He's taught for many years at Daejeon Korea Baptist Theological University and Seminary. He's worked as the leader of World Mission Training Center for 11 years. He's been instrumental in training and releasing thousands of missionaries all over the globe. Timothy Lee is a member of the Korea Evangelical Missiological Society, as well as the chairman of the Missions and Evangelism Committee of the Asia Pacific Baptist Federation. He's passionate about mission, about seeing people released to God's call on their lives in Asia, Korea, and the rest of the world. Timothy Lee, welcome to the Glove Church Project. Thank you very much, Dr. Hughes. When you think about eternal life and how Christians think about eternal life compared to the way Buddhists conceive it, how does that work? It's a very interesting question. Hmm. Buddhists believe that they already have eternal life. Hmm. The, their perspective on the history is just a, a, a circle, yeah. repetition, repeatable yeah. things. So everybody already have eternal mm. life, mm. so-called reincarnation. Mm. So reincarnation is a really painful thing. Mm. So salvation doesn't mean to get out of the eternal reincarnations. Mm. So the eternal life doesn't mean bad things. Mm. So the Western missionaries came to Asia. So I come to you to give uh, eternal life. It mm. is not a good news yeah. for the Eastern people, especially yeah. Buddhists. Yeah. Well, that's a terrible thing. Yeah. <laughs> we already have uh, eternal life, <laughs> eternal reincarnations. Yeah. We wish to get out of that the eternal <laughs> yeah. cycle of the eternal living. Yeah. So it's a funny thing. Say. It's yeah. a two different mm. uh, concept of eternal mm. life. What about the concept of suffering? How does that differ as well? Suffering is another mm. big problem. Well, Christians also concern about sufferings. Mm. But suffering is another real essence of problems. Mm. Real essence of our problem is mm. sin mm. against God. Mm. Suffering is just the sufficient symptoms mm out of our disobedience to the mm. God. Mm. Therefore, our concern is not a symptom, but a essential problems. Mm. Just like in cancer, mm. our main concern is how to kill, mm. how to get rid of a cancerous cell. Mm. Of course, they have a patient has a fever and the pains, mm. but once we get rid of the source of our diseases, mm. those uh, symptoms will be disappeared. So mm. it is not their main concern to deal mm. with the symptom. Mm. But for the Buddhist, in Buddhism, mm. suffering is not uh, just a symptom or uh, superficial mm. uh, things. Mm. It is the core of essence. Everything mm. must focus on suffering mm. itself. Suffering created so many problems in our human life. Mm. So the major concern of Buddhism is how to get rid of suffering mm. in our way of life. Mm. So it's a two different mm. things. Of course, both religions, Christianity and Buddhism, very seriously concern the sufferings, but one is just a symptom. Another one believes that it is a real core of mm. problems. What do you think are the key areas or themes in which Christianity can connect with Buddhists? Buddhists believe that they mm. have to attain the level of salvation mm. through their good karma, good behavior, good mm. deed. Therefore, they emphasize on the real life and the behavior. So just, of course, in the Bible, we can find out so many recommendations uh, for the good behavior, mm. good deed. So, in those parts from the Bible were easily understandable to the Buddhist and uh, acceptable mm. for their lives. So, for example, someone on the mountain, 
It talk mm. about a Christian behavior, Christian way of living in the world. <clears throat> so the many Asian peoples easily accept the teachings of uh, someone in the mountain. It's mm. good. Mm. So many famous Asian leaders, those were not Christians. Mm. Even they were not Christian. They easily accept the teachings of uh, someone in the mountain. So something to do in the Bible was mm. accepted by mm. the Buddhist in mind. Mm. So that could be a good contact point for us to approach to the Buddhist mm. in Asia. What role does the credibility of the witness play in establishing the credibility of the message? Person. Mm. In Asia, religion doesn't mean the teachings of a great teacher. Then our emphasis placed on mm. teacher, mm. not teaching. Yeah. Well, Christians believe that uh, Jesus is a good, he is himself God and Paul, mm. and uh, we have uh, many mm. good teachers in the Bible, but their concern is only on the word of God, word, mm. the truth. But in Asia, good religion does mean to have a good teachers. Mm. So the message could not separate from the human beings. Mm. So Christians believe that the word of God is uh, infallible. And the messengers, prophet, could be fallible. But in Asia, we have a different concept. Mm. The real good teachers must be infallible. Mm. And their teachings could be well. Yeah. <laughs> so the if the there's no credibility to the good leaders, there's mm. no credibility at all mm. in their teachings too. Mm. So the human being and person should be the center of a religious concept. Mm. Maybe you know that uh, uh, Kosuke Koyama, mm. he was the uh, author yeah. of a famous book, All of Apollo Theology. Yeah. Uh, in that book, he wrote uh, one very uh, interesting article, uh, Aristotelian paper and the uh, Asokas salt. So in his article, he very well presented some different understanding between the mm. Christian and the Buddhism. For example, Christian missionaries came to the Buddhist and said that God loves you, I love you. Mm. Then. It is a good word in Western world, mm. but in Asia, it has a different meanings. Mm. Love is a typical example of a attachment. Ah, yeah. Their life goal is to uh, exterminate the attachment in their life. So mm. they are trying to cut off every attachment in their life. The missionaries came to them and they tried to give a big attachment in yeah. their life. Oh, yeah. it is awful. <laughs> yeah. I don't like to be loved. <laughs> and also, we talk about uh, eternal life I mentioned. Mm. It is different meanings. Uh, mm. Eternal life is not a good thing. Mm. So they want to get rid of eternal life. Mm. Another thing is that, uh, for example, judgment. If you do not obey the word of God, finally God will judge you. In Asian concept of God, God cannot judge human beings. Mm. So the Buddhist concept of God doesn't mean that Buddha is a great mercy and compassion. Mm. He says so great mercy and compassion, so cannot pay back to the human beings. Mm. He cannot be angry. Mm. If God is angry and God is mad and God is payback, it's not, it's not a big God. It is a small God in Asia. Mm. So the Christian gospel could not be in Asian mind as what they expected the missionaries. Mm. So the Kosuke Koyama said that it looks like a plug in the 110 electric bulb to the 220 electric cities. So mm -hmm. it is a very dim light came out. Yeah. So the Western concept of uh, gospel mm -hmm. could not work just like mm -hmm. in the Western world. Mm -hmm. However, 
Therefore, we need to contextualize mm-hmm. our gospel to witness in Asia. So many years ago, I wrote uh, one article about uh, how can we contextualize the, mm-hmm. our gospel to the Asian mind using the four noble truths and the mm-hmm. eightfold paths. Mm-hmm. So, for example, we can teach like that. Suffering is a real matter, but we have to concern why there is a suffering. Yeah. So, suffering is a, not a core problem. We have to move more deeper levels. Why? Why we have suffering? And second level, attachment, love. Not every attachment is bad. There's uh, some good attachment. Mm-hmm. So the Bible and the, even the teachings of the Buddha ask us to mm-hmm. escape the, from the evil attachment. Yeah. So pure love is mm-hmm. good attachment. Mm-hmm. So we need love as a good attachment. Mm-hmm. And uh, annihilation or uh, extermination we have to exterminate the evil attachment. Mm. Loving money and uh, lust, mm. those things are evil attachment. We have to destroy mm. them. However, there's a good attachment. We have to attain that, those things. Mm. And also for the Buddhist, as a, a substitute of a Eightfold Path, we emphasize the real life, real mm. behavior change the life mm. of the believers. Mm. So it is a new pattern of uh, some uh, uh, for spiritual law. Yeah. <laughs> so if we can contextualize our concept, it might be wrong. Mm. Because mm. there's a, a basic need of a mm. human being to be loved. Mm. It's the same to the Buddhists. They mm. want to be loved. They want to love mm. some others. So mm. we can touch the different level of their mind it works, I believe. I hope. Oh. What do you most love about your ministry? You know that within the last 2,000 years of a church history, mm. it is the most blessed time of a revival. Mm. So many people return to Christ. Mm. Of course, it is a good period. Holy Spirit is working in the world, mm. and also we have a many technology mm. to uh, access to the needed people. We have a good information, development of a traffic and the communication, whatever. So it is the one of the most blessed time of a ministry. So I'm so excited <laughs> that I'm living at this point of time. Yeah. And also I was called to be a full-time minister. Mm. And also I'm serving in the area of uh, missions. Mm. It was so, I'm, I believe I'm so lucky guy, mm. yeah. <laughs> and I'm excited about yeah. that. If there was one thing that you wanted to say to the church today, what would that be? Especially to the Asian churches, I want to say that to be the light, shine mm. in the darkness. Mm. Many Asian be- Christians accept a very simple gospel. Mm very individual gospel, mm. privatization, privatized gospel. Mm. Just the, his own, her own individual salvation, mm. forgiveness of sin, and go to heaven someday. But gospel is a much more than just the mm. individual salvation. Mm. So I wish to tell them that to be the light, to shine mm-hmm. in the darkness of the world. Mm. Timothy Lee, thank you for joining us at the Global Church Project. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it very much. The Global Church Project is located at www.theglobalchurchproject.com. On our website, you'll find a wide range of interviews and resources for colleges, universities and churches. I look forward to your company next time. From me, goodbye.